oh, oh, okay. Hello. In the previous video, I have made an outfit for a party. Ding, 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 ding. And by the time I was done with the top bit of the outfit, I have realized that I might have missed the very vital bit of the outfit, which is the, um, the bottom bit. So this is what I will be making today. And if you want to see the top bit, go check out the previous video. But I will, <laughs> I will give you a sneak peek. Sneak peek? Yeah, it, it will be two peaks. Ta -da! I love the pattern of it. And if you want to see more of me showing off my newly grown tits, then uh, go see the other video. And I promise I'll find my tripod before I continue. For all the curious cats out there, I'll put the picture of the pattern that I used to make these pants. I actually just Frankensteined, Frankensteined? <laughs> I DIY the pattern for the pants out of a pattern for a jumpsuit, which I made last year and really loved it until I ate my way out of it. Uh, you can actually see the jumpsuit that I made last year in the previous video. I even presented the button that was about to fall off of the jumpsuit due to my um, expanded waistline at the end of that video. So check it out if you would like to see where the pattern for the pants came from. The only thing that had to be modified was the front of the pattern because initially the, the pants were made for a jumpsuit that has the front closure with, uh, with buttons. I chose to go for this particular zipper in installation and the zipper because I was determined not to leave my house just to buy supplies for making this this project. I used anything and everything that I found around my sewing studio including the fabric. I actually purchased this fabric online and that was the last time I purchased fabric online because I ordered it thinking that it's going to be like this pretty, peachy, dusty pink color but it came like neon bubble, bubble gum pink. I'm not saying it's bad, it's just not what I wanted. Oh yeah, and I recorded this uh, video back in the summer. Right now it's October and it's already snowing. But back, but back to the fabric, I, uh, I thought it's going to be peachy and dusty, but it came out to be a bubblegum neon pink. So I usually just use it for mock-ups, but this time I was like, you know what, it will make perfect strawberry milkshake pants <laughs> and went for it. Uh, and the fact that I didn't have to travel and go to a fabric store was just an additional bonus. The guiding principle in making this project was just speed and ease. The only thing I will mention before I present the pants is that I wish I had ironed them before showing you the final result. But I didn't and I'm really sorry about that. Okay, my transformation into a strawberry milkshake is officially complete. What do you think? Okay, it wouldn't be a sewing project if I didn't have an embarrassing story to tell you about it. I'm not gonna lie, I have actually finished the pants about a week before the party and um, I realized I need some minor adjustment and I have pinned the places where the pants had to be adjusted and I have completely forgotten about it until the day of the party where I have hastily and energetically put the pants on in the enthusiasm and anticipation for the upcoming party and I have um, pricked myself in a very delicate place with all the pins that were right here. So that's my embarrassing story of the day. Uh, the pins still need to be adjusted because all I could do is howl in pain and then take out the pins and go to the party. Uh, but anyway, if, uh, if, I love my accent, if, <laughs> if you have any funny slash embarrassing slash miserable stories from your sewing adventures, I would really appreciate hearing them in the comments um, and hopefully they would make me feel less alone, clumsy and miserable. Oh, look at my nails. 
I have not prepared for giving you feed content at this Red Hot Minute, but I just think my milkshake <laughs> color scheme is perfectly complemented by these. And this is the outfit. So I was planning to take them in a little bit here to make them more fitted, but that's a project for another day. As I said, the pants still need to be fitted and adjusted uh, because I haven't done that, but I'm okay with them as they are even now. Um, and I will repin my crotch whenever I find some free time. And, but for now, that's it. Those are the pants. <laughs> I cannot dance. What am I? Who am I kidding? Those are the pants. Very easy project. The only thing I need to also done except for do except for the crotch is take them in a little bit because they do ride up, which then prevents the peplum from peplumming properly, which is a bit annoying. But oh, I'm squatting so hard. But other than that. This, this guy, this button is holding on for dear life. It's about to pop off. I'm so pretty. But only from this side. 